getting results. It is 6.15 on your Thursday morning, and that means it is time for Ask Trooper Steve, where we answer the questions that you send in. And today, it's something a lot of drivers are noticing along I-4. Yes, and we understand that there are questions, there are complaints, and there are gripes. I think this is a combination of them all. So uh, <laughs> why is there little to no enforcement on I-4? See people ex exceeding the, uh, the limit there, but no trooper or cops. Joseph, let's talk about this, man. Well, listen, we can't be everywhere all the time. Crystal, you mentioned that the last hour. It's truly impossible. There's that expression out there. Where's a cop when you need one? Or, oh, look at there, you could pull me over, but you can't pull that person mm -hmm. over. It's like... Listen, it's a one-on-one -on -one deal. For every cop, there's a violation, and then they work together there. But I can promise you that at some point, some enforcement is taking place. Just think about it. If you're traveling a commute, say, from 434 all the way down to Disney, that's probably a 30, 40-minute drive on a good day. And then the opposite direction. So that's only about an hour and a half of time that you have visibly watched I-4 got a whole much more time out there. I can promise you that the enforcement's happening, but another zone of it is in like downtown Orlando. Right. The shoulders there are so small, it's not safe to do enforcement there. So I can tell you this, there's data that supports that they are doing it, but if you have a traffic complaint, reach out to FHP or the city of Orlando, let them know, and then they can uh, kind of communicate with you and let you know what kind of enforcement they're doing. Thank you so much, Super Steve. If you have a question for him, you can let him know on our website. Just head to clickorlando.com slash asktroopersteve.